Hey everyone, we're getting ready to head out to the greenhouse because we got a lot of work to do, like always. But the forecast finally looks good enough for us to start carrying things out to the high tunnel. So we did have some snow the other day. It ended up being a good couple inches, but luckily it didn't do too much damage and it melted really fast. We're here. Looks like mom already got the high tunnel opened up. We are going to move out all of this clutter up here because it's been a pain in the butt trying to carry boxes through here and push the cart around all the plants. We are happy that we got a head start though. Probably leave the hot peppers in here for a little bit longer. I need to get this little half tray back here planted before we start. It's getting pretty big. We got some kale and basil here, both very popular items at the farm market and also good growing summer crops. Mom has tried a few different varieties of basil over the years and she likes this one the best. I like it too, it's pretty good. It's called Eleanor. A seed must have bounced over. It's a kale basil combo. These are both crops that you can cut and then let them keep growing. Moving on to kale, we definitely want to keep a space or a channel in between the two because kale goes absolutely crazy in the summertime. Here's some kale we have going right now. And since we haven't had to cut any for the farm markets yet, it's just gotten huge. These have quite the root system on them. This is a uh, starboard kale from Johnny Seed. And this is the only kind we grow. Um, some people grow this and just harvest the whole plant and sell the whole plant. But you can also do what we do and cut it like I was saying, and it'll just keep growing. Mom will usually put two or three of these into each cube. This one's got two. Okay, and these should be plenty big enough by the time the farm market starts up. going to wait to water all these so they're not as heavy but I guess I'll start carrying them out. So peppers. Peppers. Okay. Then we're gonna do a line of another line of strawberries. Okay. And then tomatoes. Okay. Thank you, more boy. Okay, we got everything out here. 
Uh, we got the peppers lined up and now I want to get the tomatoes into grow bags here. We have to keep working around dad's workstation here. He's still working on the strawberry support system, but we ran out of wood. And as a lot of people know, wood is really expensive right now, like all construction materials are. So we may be pulling out dad's uh, portable sawmill here soon and cutting some of our own wood. Okay, I'm gonna mix up the growing medium outside to avoid breathing in some of the dust. And we're gonna do our two thirds perlite, one third vermiculite. We layer it in the Dutch buckets inside and the plastic ones in the main greenhouse, but it's just easier to mix it up for these grow bags. windy okay I just filled up 40 of these grow bags and these are the stand-up grow bags and they have the little holes on the sides and then on the bottom so I think I went through um, three bags of perlite in a bag and a half of vermiculite to get my 40 bags now we would have liked to get these Roma tomatoes in here sooner but like I've been saying the weather hasn't been cooperating so they are a little bit leggy, and then some of them have yellow leaves down at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and take those off because when I plant these, I'm going to bury them, bury the stems up in the growing medium a little bit. I went through and soaked down the bags after I got them filled up too, so it'd be a little bit easier to dig a nice deep hole to put these in. are pretty cool because if you bury the stem they will end up shooting out more roots for you and a bigger root system will help create a bigger plant. The reason why we like to grow hydroponically is because we're a really small operation. It's just mom, dad, and me. And the hydroponics allows us to get the maximum yield out of a smaller space. And then it also allows us to have complete control over what the plants are getting. So we just end up getting more produce that way rather than growing in soil for us. And I mean, we like growing in soil too. You guys know I have my garden. But around here, we've tried growing a few things, like sweet corn, and it always gets eaten up by the deer and the raccoons. It's starting to rain. Dad was gonna go mow, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Okay, Roma tomatoes are in, and I think I'm gonna need to get these guys up on the bobbin sooner than later, because they're kind of flopping over. And I still need to get the cherry tomatoes in here, so probably within the week we'll get those, and then it's gonna be about full in here. 
These are some orange tomatoes that mom planted a while ago and we had to get them out here because they were getting so big. Um, the other night when it got cold, we had to cover them up. I got a lot of comments asking about where we got our buckets from for the strawberries. These are from Crop King. And last I heard, they had a very small quantity. I mean, they could be sold out. So if I hear anything, I will put a link for you guys. Giving them one last little drink for now. We're excited for dad to get that new system hooked up. Well, shoot, I was gonna see if Bobby would disc the garden this evening, but it's pretty wet here too. I don't think those are bluebirds. I've never seen a bluebird line its nest with feathers like that before. So I'll have to look it up because we have some invasive birds around here. Well, I guess this rain will be good for the pastures at least. We are a couple inches under our average rainfall for around here. Maybe it'll make the morels pop up too. All right, last thing I wanna do is start some watermelon and zucchini for the garden. And this is something I've never done before. I usually just direct seed these, but a problem I always have is they start to come up and then the ants eat the first little leaves off of them. So I'm always replanting them and it's always a pain in the butt. So I'm hoping that this will give me a little bit better results. So these that I'm planting right now are sugar baby watermelons. And I have some Dunja zucchini, just like the good old green zucchini. And I have some gold mine yellow zucchini. And I've planted all these varieties in the garden and they've all done fine once they get past that initial seedling stage. So I looked it up and you can use rapid rooters to start these, so I'm just kind of shoving them in there. Oh, and I also looked up the bird, and I'm pretty sure it's a, tr a tree swallow, so that's a good thing. Hmm, popped right out of there. Well guys, we have a couple videos in the works that I'm pretty excited about. So I will definitely be seeing you all again soon. Thanks for watching.